for senior citizens, it's been called a precautionary dose, right? So, uh, will that is that what is what Cohen is also going to say a precautionary dose? Well, uh, thank you, Vishnu, for inviting me on your channel. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Yes, uh, you are right. Uh, the Coven platform is merely a technology backbone, and it is actually going to implement the policies of the government. So, if the government calls the additional dose as the precautionary dose, so the Coven is also going to call it the same. So, so that's that's the way it is going to happen. So, sir, the reason I ask that is because, presuming, uh, presumably, there would then be a fourth booster, a fourth shot as well, which would be called a booster. Uh, in the future, I mean, I, I'm well, just I trying to. I, no, well, I can't. I, I can't sort of, uh, uh, sort of imagine as to what fourth will be called or what fifth will be called. We let's limit ourselves to this particular sure. issue. So it will be called the precautionary dose, and you are you right. are confirming that. I mean, that's right. that's that's important to note. So Absolutely. if there is a senior citizen with comorbidities uh, who is eligible, what does uh, what does she or he need to do? Well, uh, first of all, he is he or she is already registered on our platform right. because he or she has already got two doses, right? That's number one. And number two, we also know when was the last dose he or she took. So therefore, from that point onward, when are his or her 39 weeks or nine months going to be completed? So as soon as that happens, the Coven platform will issue an SMS to him or her informing him or her that you know your your uh, precautionary dose is now due in case you have comorbidity right. so in case he or she has she can go to the coven platform uh, use the same mobile number with which she had she or he had done two doses and then get the uh, get, get the appointment booked for the precautionary dose so this is important because all senior citizens will get an alert and it's only those senior citizens who have comorbidities who may choose to act. Correct? Correct, correct, correct. That, that's what we plan to do. Right, otherwise, so that's interesting, yeah. Yeah, so otherwise, you know, because we have all the data, the data is with us. So we will inform the senior citizens that now you are eligible in case you have comorbidity. Similarly, we will also inform all the frontline and health workers to essentially say that now you have done these two doses have been administered to you your last dose was nine months or more prior to today and therefore you are also eligible for a precautionary dose and please come and have that dose administered to you. so if a senior citizen sir is to book that third dose through covin and have received two doses of let's say covid shield or covaxin for that matter as per the existing policy, and as I understand it, it's the same dose for the precautionary dose. So on the interface, will um, appointments only be for, COVID, uh, for, for the vaccine that they've already taken? Well, uh, I, I, must, I must share with you that I am not very clear about the decision as to whether the uh, third dose, uh, that precautionary dose will be of the same uh, you know, brand as the first two or a different brand as and when that decision is taken because this whole thing is going to happen from 10th january onwards so uh, uh, approx uh, uh, accordingly the the uh, you know the, the covid platform will be configured to show only those uh, centers which are different or those centers which are the same centers same dose uh, which was taken by the person earlier right.